tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Into basketball or sports in general, what was like your, how did you dive in? Quote, unquote? So, I was uh, five to six years old ago when I started playing basketball. Um, I'd see my brothers and dad play outside the house because I my half court po kami dun. And I remember po, makikisali na lang po sa kanila, I'd shoot the basketball. Yeah. Then po, I just fell in love with the sport po. You know, so your very main reason what, uh, what helps me to stick to basketball is your main support from my family. Because mm -hmm. I won't be here for right now if I didn't have a lot of support. Okay. Before the season starts, po, I claim that I was a coach. Na, coach, you're going to be champs this year. Yeah. yeah. That's so nice. That's mambo mentality. <laughs> so, I was able progress ng Generally, women's basketball for the Philippines. Because yeah. now, when we're watching it, you'll see that there are talented players. Ganun po. And there are many players. That's awesome. Yes, po, I'm the type of player po na who's scared to like, outwork po ako by anyone. Because yeah. par I just want to think that I just want to work po ka sa kanya, ganun. Mas yeah. nagtitin po ako. Like, Very Kobe mentality. I love you, Ed. <laughs> so, siguro, I love Kobe and Jordan so much. Yeah. Po. I don't yeah. let this pandemic stop me from improving, ganun po. I actually, ano po, posted sa story ko po one time na nagtitraining pa rin po kami ni Daddy kahit umuulan na po. Okay, so, yeah. Nagsushooting pa rin po kami kahit umuulan. Every yeah. training ko po yung ano, my ability po to create open shots for me and my teammates po. Ah, that's nice. So, you can run plays ganon. Yes. Young career in the WBL and WNCAA. Uh, what are some of your notable achievements? Siguro po, unang-unang po yung... Kasi po, I was the first Filipina to represent Asia Pacific po sa Orlando po. Yeah. So, yun po. I actually didn't expect to na like makuha po ako sa team. Yeah. Kasi when we so when we went to Indonesia po like yung kalaban po namin dun mga 64 ganun po. Mm, ang takad. So I was actually the smallest po sa team. Yeah. Very happy po. Actually hindi ko po ma-describe kung yung feeling po na nararamdaman ko na may WNBL na po and sobrang excited po kasi you know little by little Young female boys here po in the country are are now given the opportunity to like show their talents po to so other people and I'm sure po na marami pong magugulat kasi really have a lot of underappreciated players ganon po yeah. due to lack of um opportunities po na nagbigay yeah. long term goal to make it to the WNBA po yeah yun talaga yung ultimate dream po where so, so short term goal po, yun nga po, just like what I said po, yung to get better each and every day po. Yeah. Mm, so, to, to always believe in yourself po and to keep working hard po. Kasi that's like the secret to success po, yung work hard lang po talaga. Tapos yeah. yun po, rest lang po sa gatas training then rin po later. Constantly training and building her confidence. That's coming on the last for you so I we'll be back Anna, to be the first ever homegrown filipina to ever make it in the wnba w oh your respect um respect. sportsmanship and to have a positive attitude um my advice would be for Anna, to don't let others opinion stop you from doing what you want to and if you want to pursue your sport, um, always keep in mind to work hard and at the end of the day, you have to do what makes you happy. You got to stick to the basics. You like, don't need any three balls, three balls. That's like for Instagram, Instagram posts. Na lang for it. So, you really need to be non-dominant. You go, 
Tapos for shooting ko, I suggest na para to take like 100 shots a day ko para yeah, para makuha po ng yung para magas ng alam na po ng body niya yung stroke ko. Normal lang naman po yung kanyari kakabahan kasi game, pero um, uh, parang dapat po hindi po wala po yung tiwala po sa sarili nyo. Yeah, there's no surprise why Camille is dubbed by me or by many already around her as the future of women's basketball. She had mentioned throughout the interview, it's her confidence, her work ethic, and the value she picked up in sports that has helped her build what she is today. Through hard work and practicing her craft on a daily basis, that's what helps her continue her standout career in the sports world. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.